prayer for the 2022 national and local elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides our nation. For every petition, let us pray together, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism, Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth, Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud, Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective, Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language, Deliver us, Lord. Now let our response be, Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored. Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we come in this holy sacrifice of the Mass, being taught by Jesus the value of sacrifice, giving up something for Him. And so to prepare ourselves to celebrate the mystery of God's love, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that always pondering spiritual things we may carry out in both word and deed that which is pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. James. Come now, you rich, weep and wail over your impending miseries. Your wealth has rotted away. Your clothes have become moth-eaten. Your gold and silver have corroded. And that corrosion will be a testimony against you. It will devour your flesh like a fire. You have stored up treasure 
for the last days. Behold, the wages you withheld from the workers who harvested your fields are crying aloud, and the cries of the harvesters have reached the ears of the Lord of hosts. You have lived on earth in luxury and pleasure. You have fattened your hearts for the day of slaughter. You have condemned. You have murdered the righteous one. He offers you no resistance. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are the poor in spirit. The kingdom of heaven is theirs. Blessed are the poor in spirit. The kingdom of heaven is theirs. This is the way of those whose trust is folly, the end of those contented with their lot. Like sheep, they are herded into the netherworld. Death is their shepherd, and the upright rule over them. Blessed are the poor in spirit. The kingdom of heaven is theirs. Quickly, their form is consumed. The netherworld is their palace, but God will redeem me from the power of the netherworld by receiving me. Blessed are the poor in spirit. The kingdom of heaven is theirs. Fear not when a man grows rich, when the wealth of his house becomes great. For when he dies, he shall take none of it. His wealth shall not follow him down. Blessed are the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Though in his lifetime he counted himself blessed, they will praise you for doing well for yourself. He shall join the circle of his forebears, who shall never for see light. Blessed are the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Anyone who gives you a cup of water to drink because you belong to Christ, Amen, I say to you, will surely not lose his reward. Whoever causes one of these little ones who believe in me to sin, it would be better for him if a great millstone were put around his neck and he were thrown into the sea. If your hand causes you to sin, cut it off. It is better for you to enter into life maimed than with two hands to go into Gehenna, into the unquenchable fire. And if your foot causes you to sin, cut it off. It is better for you to enter into life crippled than with two feet to be thrown into Gehenna. And if your eye causes you to sin, pluck it out. Better for you to enter into the kingdom of God with one eye than with two eyes to be thrown into Gehenna, where their worm does not die and the fire is not quenched. Everyone will be salted with fire. Salt is good, but if salt becomes insipid, with what will you restore its flavor? Keep salt in yourselves and you will have peace with one another. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. 
praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. <clears throat> Our idea of happiness is being challenged by our first reading today. Our idea that in order for you to have happiness, you need to have more, to add more. If you are sad, buy more. If you are sad, eat more. More and more. That is our idea of happiness. But our first reading today challenges us. The letter of St. James tells us, you have bought more, you have stored more for yourselves. He said, but your wealth is rotting away. Nabubulok na yang tinago mo na sobra-sobra. Your clothes had become moth-eaten. Mamaya ako pag uwi ninyo, i-check ninyo yung cabinet nyo. Alin doon ang ilang taon nyo nang hindi sinusuot at moth-eaten na. Your gold and silver have corroded Nabubulok na yung mga tinago mong ginto at pera. And St. James said that you have stored more for yourself and now you are being eaten by greed. He said, it will devour your flesh like a fire. The idea of happiness, of storing more for yourselves, turns into greed that it is like eating your flesh because you are being eaten by greed. And later on, because of that greed, you will already forget the needs of the poor and of those around you. Jesus teaches us today that happiness is not about having more. Jesus teaches us today and His disciples the value of sacrifice. That sometimes, giving up something will make you truly happy and peaceful. That making ourselves happy is not adding more to our treasures, but sometimes learning to give up something will make you truly happy and content. That is why in our gospel today, Jesus tells us, if you have water, give it to someone who is thirsty. Give up. Give that extra water you have to the thirsty. If something makes you sinful, give it up. And when you learn to give that up, then it will make you truly peaceful and happy. If something is leading you to leading you away from following Jesus, give that up. Cut it off. Sometimes when you learn to cut it off and to give it up, that is how you will become truly content and at peace. When I began as vice rector here at the Manila Cathedral, it was I who started the Facebook page of the Manila Cathedral. Medyo millennial ko ang pakiramdam ko sa sarili ko. So, sabi ko, ano ba tong Manila Cathedral? The premier church, walang Facebook page. So, I started no, in 20, uh, I think 2015. When I came here, I started 
managing the Facebook page of the Manila Cathedral. So, you know, I, I started posting something and I got so involved to it that I usually checked how many likes does the post have? How many shares does this post have? And I started being engrossed with it that when the post got only, for example, 20 likes, I became sad. Sabi ko, bakit ba 20 likes lang ito? No, I need to have more likes. So, it uh, consumed me. It consumed my time. And sometimes, having less likes on Facebook made me sad. <laughs> so, I said, I will give it up. I will just post and I will not look at how many likes or shares. And then, I became truly happy. <laughs> I did not look at how many likes, but I was happy to share the Word of God on Facebook, not looking at the praise of people for you, but being happy, sharing the Word of God without looking at how many praises you have got. Learning to give up sometimes will truly make you happy and at peace. My dear brothers and sisters, every Eucharist, we are reminded by Jesus of the value of sacrifice, of giving up. When Jesus tells us, this is my body given up for you. This is my blood poured out for you. Sa tingin niyo ba nagkulang si Jesus nung binigay niya ang kanyang sarili? Naging kulang ba siya? Hindi. Mas lalo siyang naging puno at mas pinuno niya tayo ng pag-ibig at pagmamahal. My dear brothers and sisters, in this celebration of the Eucharist, let us learn the value of sacrifice. That happiness is not just about adding more Sometimes happiness will come when you learn to give up something for God. Amen. Please stand. We pray now to God the Father for enlightenment as we present the needs of our broken and divided world before Him. For every petition, let us say, Father, we hope in You. Father, we hope in You, that God's holy people may be resolute in their struggle against various evil. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father we, we hope in You, that people may persevere in their trials and sufferings. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, we hope in you. That we may not allow our possessions to lead us towards damnation. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, we hope in you. That the sick may find strength and consolation from those who care for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, we, we hope, hope in, in you. We pray for all who are sick, especially those afflicted with COVID-19, and for those who care for them. May the vaccines and medicines, as well as our concern for each other, help end this pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father we, we hope, hope in, in you. you. That our beloved dead may find eternal rest. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, we hope in you. in you. Let us also include in our prayers today the peace and protection of the people of Ukraine that through the intercession of Our Lady, they may be given peace and order restored in their country. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, we hope in you. Almighty God, the people called to follow your Son confidently bring their supplications before you, asking for courageous faith. We make our prayer 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. As we celebrate your mysteries, O Lord, with the observance that is your due, we humbly ask you, that what we offer to the honor of your majesty may profit us for salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy, we proclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts heaven, heaven and, and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, 
he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am, am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we may experience the effects of the salvation which is pledged to us by these mysteries. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Tomorrow, my dear brothers and sisters, is the 
36th anniversary of the EDSA People Power Revolution. I am reminded of my age. I was born that year. So tomorrow, our celebration of Masses here at the Manila Cathedral is at uh, 7.30 a.m. and 12.10 in the afternoon. I hope that we could take time thanking God tomorrow for this great event in our history that we were able to unite as a people under the banner of Jesus, under the image of Mary, praying for our country and uh, saving our country from the dictatorship. Tomorrow is a Thanksgiving day, and I hope that you could join us in the celebration of our Holy Masses. Next Wednesday, next week is already Ash Wednesday. Our celebration of Masses at the Cathedral will be our regular schedule at 7.30 a.m. and 12.10 in the afternoon, but we will be having another Mass in the evening at 5.30 p.m. And Pope Francis also called everyone on Ash Wednesday to spend the day in praying for Ukraine. We all need to pray for Ukraine as they are now uh, having this turmoil and they are on the brink of war. And so all of us need to pray for their country. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Maria, ina ng awa.